begin here at 5 with breaking news. Sentencing for the teenager who pleaded guilty in the murder of Barnard College student Tessa Majors. Majors was stabbed to death in a park in December of 2019. And today, video of her final moments was played in court. CBS 2's Corey James live in Lower Manhattan with more, including a message from Tessa's family. Corey. And Christina Maurice, it was a very emotional 45 minutes in that courtroom today for the sentencing. At one point, especially for Tessa Major's father, who was crying, an officer brought him a box of tissues to help console him. And it was clear in that moment that what happened to his daughter nearly two years ago, the pain of that has not gone away. Luciano Lewis walked slowly into the courtroom Thursday afternoon ahead of his sentencing for the role he pled guilty to last month in the death of Barnard College freshman Tessa Majors, the 18 year old's father breaking down during the victim impact letter read by the attorney on behalf of the Majors family. At one part, it stated, quote, with every legal proceeding, we are forced to relive the events of December 11, 2019. We have not been able to grieve our daughter properly in peace. Minutes later, Majors' father left his front row seat while a video of his daughter's last moments was shown. The security camera footage capturing Majors struggling going up the steps near Morningside Park after breaking away from the three defendants in that brutal attack. Her attorney saying Majors, quote, had already been stabbed once in the heart. With each breath, she is closer to death. Then you see Majors pull out her phone that the suspects attempted to steal before collapsing face down. Majors' father then returned back to the courtroom as their attorney requested the maximum sentence, stating Lewis asked his accomplices after the attack, quote, what did you get? What did you get? Lewis later speaking to the Majors family and his father saying, quote, I'm sorry that I failed you and became less of the son you raised, end quote. When he asked Majors' family to accept his apology, her father looked away, his eyes swelling with tears. The judge handing down the maximum sentence for the murder, nine years to life, and an additional three plus years for the robbery, adding Lewis while in custody had been in multiple fights, had contraband that could have been used as weapons, and most recently was involved in a violent slashing with another inmate over a blanket that resulted in a rearrest for felony assault. And before that sentencing decision, Lewis's attorney asked the judge not to consider and factor those incidents involving Lewis, who is at Crossroads Juvenile Detention Center. The judge, though, said that it shows that Lewis is not capable of controlling his anger and aggression, and therefore, he is a danger to society. We're live in Lower Manhattan. Corey James, CBS 2 News. Corey, thank you.